Today, we will guide on how to load DIY field and also DIY script. If you receive a customization from us, the customization after extract is similar like this. For SLIV, it stands for Sales Invoice. I have prepared a PDF file so that you can download from www.sql.com.my slash document so that you can check. Let's say for SLIV. So SLIV is stand for Sales Invoice. And also if your customization is in SLDO, then it actually stand for Sales Delivery Order. So now I will guide you how to load the DIY field and also DIY script. We have to go to DIY SQL Control Center. We have to double click on your company name and then business object. Let's say sales invoice header field. So this is actually a DIY field. So we go to header field, we go to look from file. So we have to look for the customization. Let's say this is SLIV header script. You have to save it. After you save it, let's go to item field, look from file and SLIV item field and save. And OK. After we have done the header view, we have to right click on sales invoice to create a new quick form design. So let's say the new quick form design name will be more. We just press on OK and you will see additional tab is here. We just click on look from file. So we click on new quick form design. This operation will override your current setting. Are you want to continue? You have to just press on yes and then save. So after we have done for DIY field, now I will guide you on how to load DIY script. If let's say for this customization, you have on before save, on grid column value change and also on open. So now I will show you how to create for all this DIY script. Let's go back to SQL. <coughs> we have to point on sales invoice. Right click new event. There is a lot of option. Let's say on open. We can just leave the name blank and press OK. So for on open, we just click on load from file. So we select on open. So system will double confirm with you. Are you sure you want to continue? You just click yes. After you done, make sure you click save. So after we save, let's create a new DIY script again. Right click, new event. This time we look for on before save. Click on on before save, look from file and choose on before save and then yes and save repeat the same step for all the scripting you have last one on grid column value change so we just press on it load from file and double click on the on grid column value change and then save so that's all for how to load DIY field and also DIY script. Thank you.